What's going on guys, this is Bosch LP and welcome back for more Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we got through the second dungeon, which was like the pot dungeon or something like that. It had probably the most, I, I, I don't know, like the most unfortunate name ever. If you call something the pot dungeon, it, it really doesn't work out that great. Anywho, uh, I also went to the photo place and got my first photo taken so now I can take photos. Then I was walking through the graveyard trying to get to where I had to go next and I found this fucking thing, yeah. Usually, small ghosts pop out of these things, but for some reason, there's this giant-ass ghost. And he dropped a fairy. Huh. Well, that was cool. Alright, well, <laughs> that was fun. I think there's, like, a really rare chance of that happening. That's rather strange, but yeah, that, that happened. Ah, shit, I can't get out of this graveyard, can I? Son of a bitch. Alright, and the piece of power doesn't actually insta-kill the ghost, even though it launches him. So that's pretty surprising. Damn, it really doesn't, like, insta-launch him. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go figure out how to get back to where we- Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, sometimes working around this map isn't that much of a fun time. Anywho, let's get ready. So basically, the way we need to go is- Why on earth is this piece of grass here? This piece of grass bugs me so much. Anyway. Right here. Oop. Got him. Right, we've went down this portal before. Uh, right? Let's see what happens. Yeah, we've been through this portal before. Man, it feels good to be recording Link's Awakening again. I got really, like, into, uh, the other Fire Emblem game, like, Let's Play I've been doing, and, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that kind of took a lot of my time. But anyway, yeah, I probably haven't uploaded that by this point in time, and if I have, then there you go, but if I haven't, I am actually recording Fire Emblem Sword of Seals, which is the sixth one in the series. That will not be going up, uh, in theory for quite a while, at least until after this series is close to being done or done or one of my other series finishes, which I'm assuming I'm probably going to finish this series before I finish any of those, considering at the rate I've been going. I mean, Jesus Christ, I've been going so slow with this game. Anywho, let's bomb this up. I believe this is a fairy fountain. Maybe it's just like a small section of a cave. Nope, it's this. Those crystals you can't do anything with, so you're going to have to just wait. Yep. Use your waiting legs. God damn, it's cold down here. I should just, like, light a fire on the floor. That'd probably be a smart idea. Anywho, here's the fairy fountain I was talking about, except it's not much of a fairy fountain because there's no fairies in here. There would be a fairy if I had actually some lower hearts, but since I don't, no fairy feels like showing up. Apparently, she does not run a mouth service. She only runs a, uh, a healing service. I suppose that makes sense. She's basically like the bitch from uh, Patch Adams. Which I kind of stand behind as a guilty pleasure movie of mine. I mean, it's not a terrible movie, but hey. Anywho, this confused the shit out of me for the longest time. You see this giant pig statue thing. Yeah, it's weird looking, and it's out of place, and I got a guardian acorn, which is gonna make the nice music that I was playing go out. But, believe it or not, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bomb it. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like it's bombable, but you'd never guess it. I, I actually don't think that's necessary either. Like, you don't need to bomb that rock. So it's possible that I've gone through the entire game before without even noticing that you had to bomb it. Yeah. By the way, these are para octa rocks. I'm going to call them, because that's pretty much what they are. And that is a... a Hell if I know, it's a giant fucking Goomba looking thing that looks like a mushroom throwing rocks. And Goombas aren't mushrooms, they're chestnuts, by the way. Yeah, I never knew that, but apparently they're chestnuts. Yeah. Uh, that's a thing for chestnuts. Kennel Castle, 10 minutes. Or 10 minutes right and up. What? 10 min. What else can that stand for? 10, like. Whatever. This house is over here. Richard's Villa. Oh, well, nice hole. Here he is. This good guy. Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you want the key to the Yukuku Prairie, do you? I may be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. You okay? I'm impressed. There are five leaves in all. Remember to buy a shovel on your way back. Ah, oh, shit, I need a shovel, don't I? Oh yeah, I got that. Forgot about that. 
Anywho, this guy right here, he's a reference to some Japanese video game, which you just go watch Jogo's playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty lazy, aren't I? That's just all you have to do. Go watch Chugga's playthrough and all will make 100% more sense. Explains why there's a million frogs in this place and who the guy is. I even forget what his, what his name is at this point. What is your name? Citations, you want to know about me? Um, apparently does not mention his name. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know, I got a shovel. Whatever. Oh, wait, here, here, here's his name explained. Richard's Villa, right. It's from some weird game in, like, Japan. Yeah, I don't really remember too much of it, like, at all. But, anywho, let's just go into the castle and retreat this guy's golden leaf. Because, golden leaf. I, I don't know. I don't know why on earth he needs this golden leaf. In fact, there's five pieces of it, so we kind of have a little bit of a time ahead of us to go retrieve this golden leaf. Golden leaf, golden leaf, golden leaf. I get the feeling that that should be a reference. I'm, I'm thinking like Animal Crossing new, re new leaf, but nah, I'm trying to think of somewhere else where a golden leaf comes into play. I don't think it ever does. Anywho, we have this castle right here, and actually a little bit of picture. Hi, August. You know, I love to take pictures. Wouldn't this old castle make a great photo? And Richard comes in and bums in the shot. Nothing yet. I grew tired of waiting. I want those golden leaves delivered soon. Courage like this deserves a photo, don't you think? Go ahead and take a picture of me. Any angle you like. I'm not afraid. I just decided to wait at home. And thus we get the shot, which we will probably show later. It's actually a pretty funny shot, I think. It's it's not bad at all. Um, what the hell? We got a monkey over there. Uh, hmm, that's strange. Well, I'm probably not going to bother with that. I'll just sit around here and kind of explore some places first. Um, yeah. Alrighty then. So how many secrets do you subscribe? I have four. If I could get five, that would be just perfect. I know there's a way to get one around here somewhere. Seashell Mansion, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, there might be one right here. Oh yeah, look at that. We found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, some good's bound to happen. So this thing right here gives you rewards for every like five seashells you collect, I believe. Pass through the barrier. And five, gets you a present. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good's bound to happen. So basically every five you get, you want to make sure you come back here. It'll give you a free seashell. These aren't necessary to be in the game, and you have to get it on the 5th, 10th, and 15th interval. But if you do, uh, it makes it a lot easier so you won't have to find every single secret seashell. Which, if you just go look up Chugga's LP, he'll tell you how to get every single one of them. Personally, I don't even find like the reward for it that necessary. But it is sort of cool, I mean, it does help a lot. But once again, it's just not necessary. Especially when you keep picking up these goddamn pieces of power, if that's not enough of a hint for what it is. Get wrecked. <coughs> anyway, let's make it our way on back to the castle. How much of the map have I explored? Okay, I have a nice little, like... H, I guess, which has been like surgically separated so it's no longer like sticking down, it's sticking out. Maybe it's an H doing a futon kick. Banana, banana. Oh yeah, give it to Kiki. Hmm. I wonder if that's a reference to Earthbound, the way it says Kiki, Kiki. Ooh, ooh, Kiki, Kiki. Monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. They have asses. <laughs> I love this music. Monkey business, done, bye-bye. So if you want to listen to the monkey business song, uh... Oh, wait, no, it's it's already over. Huh, I thought I actually looped. Never mind. Ooh, Kiki. And as a reward, we get a stick. You found a stick, a monkey left behind. You take it. That's another part of the trading sequence. You won't be really needing it that much. Well, actually, yeah, you will be, because the trading sequence is 100% necessary. I forgot about that. Thank God it's not that difficult in this game. In Oracle games, uh, it was not necessary, at least up to a point, but it did help out. And right here is the secret uh, staircase the guy was talking about. That looks ugly as shit. 
Look at the awful cell shading there. Seriously, look at that. Like, it's just black, and then there's a bunch of like gray boxes. Ew, that's gross. Ew, get me out of here. That's some horrible cell shading. That's like worse than what I've done in like Pokemon, well, in, like Mario. That yeah, that's a ROM hack I'm thinking of. Well, remember your own ROM hack, damn it. You made like how many of those? Two. Technically three, except the third one was never released. And this guy decides that he wants to play a little bit of whack-a-mole. So play his game, and he drops you a piece of golden leaf. You found a golden leaf. Oh, wow, actually it's not pieces, it's just literally five golden leaves. There's only, like, one or two outside this castle. I can't remember exactly how many there are. Ow. Get out of my ass. Thank you. Let's go find them all. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, I believe over here you can get some hearts if you just start swinging at these bushes. Uh, Alright, close enough. Uh, something I want to do real quickly before I explore out the rest of this. Huh, okay, never mind. I thought the button was there to open the gate real quickly, but apparently it wasn't. Yeah, there's a button to actually open the gate up front. Make it easier for you to walk out. Actually, I believe that crow has the other one. Or at least it's under those rocks. I'm not sure which it is. Hmm, well the crow's not moving. Hmm. Maybe if I grab the tree. No, that definitely didn't work. How about a bomb? That'll probably work. Ah, that worked. Aha! Gotcha. Yeah, he was he was pretty intent on guarding that golden leaf. I mean, it makes sense. Crows do pick up golden shit. In fact, all birds do. Like, seagulls are annoying-ass bastards with that. Didn't you see the news story where the one seagull picked up a guy's, like, camera they were using to record the Everglades? Like, just some seagull comes and jacks the stupid thing. Well, what, what an asshole. Takes it back to his nest and doesn't do shit with it. He's just like, <laughs> I got a golden item, bastards. Enjoy not having it. Anyway, we got some nice statues over here in the castle. The funny thing is, I don't believe the guy ever moves back inside of his castle. He's just too scared to move back. I think I would be too, but it's still a castle. There's the third golden leaf. You found a golden leaf. Golden leaf, golden leaf, golden leaf. Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of, like, Pokemon Gold and then thinking of, like... No, it's Heart Gold, not, not like, New Leaf Gold. I don't know. Hard to explain. Ah, oh, there's the button I was thinking of. And click. Huh? Sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Yep. And apparently the castle gate sounds like... And that's about it. Well, interesting castle gate you got there. This place does not have a map because it's so easy to get through. Honestly, there's there's no struggle with it at all. Uh, but we have this asshole to deal with. Well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're going to place bombs right here, I believe. And that opens up the crack, which allows you to fight these guys. I'm not sure if... I believe one of them has a uh, golden leaf. Yep, look at that. Of course, it was the second one I attacked, but who cares. You found the fourth golden leaf. Mm-hmm. It honestly isn't that hard to get into the third dungeon as I originally intended, but it's just a lot of walking, so a lot more than the first two were, at least. It isn't, ex exa isn't exactly that bad to deal with. And I believe the final golden leaf is gotten out there in the middle. Ooh, I wonder if I can kill you. Eh -heh. That would look really weird just to kill from the top of a castle with a sword swing. In fact, the, like, the look of that doesn't even make any sense. I feel there should have been a picture here, too. There's a lot of pictures that weren't exactly taken in the game. But whatever. And the door closes immediately on us. How on earth are we going to get through? Well... We bash our way through, of course, with the pottery. That took me a while to get, like, to understand what I had to do. I think I got that by purely luck. There's no owl statue to explain it. There's really nothing, which kind of leaves it to be kind of a stupid thing. I mean, there's a million pots, so I guess that kind of hints at it, but still. I mean, that's not a mechanic they use very often. Anyway, this guy's a cinch to fight. Got him. And there we go, the fifth and final golden leaf as I fall down the cliff. Thank you, game. Well, that was silly. I got the golden leaf! Fuck. 
And that's it. So now we just have to walk all the way back through the castle again. There probably was a shortcut that I'm completely forgetting about, but... Eh, whatever. Who cares? Get me out of this place. It's not that hard to get out of here. Probably gonna have to go through a couple of these guys, though, which will be... Never mind. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's leave. <laughs>